So there's a quite a lot of you that actually love the videos that I create on this YouTube channel and I want to show guides on how to actually improve on Hero League or even get rank 1. But by doing that I would have to make a series of videos to explain what happens when you do certain things. We all know for instance the game like Heroes of the Storm works by a thing called MMR. Now have you actually googled it? Well here is the definition. Matchmaking rating, that is what MMR stands for. Or MMR is a value determined or determines the skill of level of each player. This value is used in matchmaking. Winning increases the, a player's MMR while losing decreases it. Players with the highest MMR ratings are listed in the world below. Now we're not going to see what what you know the people that listed below because we don't really care about Dota 2. But for instance, matchmaking rating is the value, the skill level value of yourself. So even though you think that your teammates is, is causing you to lose, which is definitely for a different video, but your teammates is not the cause of your loss, by the way. It's definitely your skill level is at the same level as those people that are making so many mistakes, um, your MMR is basically the, on the same level and that's why you queue up with them. So if you ask any YouTuber, any content creator like, you know, on Twitch, anyone that's actually decent in the game or even a pro, if you ask them if MMR hell exists, the answer will always be the same. No, it won't. I do have the perfect example for you guys. My friend told me that he cannot get out of that rank because his teammates suck. So I told him, listen dude, give me that account, I'll play it I, I'll play on it for one day and see how good how good we can do. And I actually reached up about eight ranks within one day from rank thirty-eight to thirty. And I'm a rank one player, so this system is not flawed. Trust me, it works perfectly well. Now there are some maps or some games that you're just impossible to win. For instance, your teammate, you know, do something randomly retarded at the late game. Or you get queued up with two unranked in your teams while you're playing against full rank 1 players. Guys, these things happen. These things um, are not always 100% perfect. But most of the time, out of 10 games that you play, you can actually win 6, okay? There's four games out of that ten that regardless how good you are, you cannot carry it and you cannot make it lose. You will win two and you will lose two. But the other six games, you can actually show some, I don't know, cool plays and, you know, outplay your opponents by playing non-meter heroes or even meter heroes, tier one. It doesn't really matter. But the other six is all affected by you and no one else. You can think what you want to about this game, but the game is balanced so well that it is it is just impossible to say that there's MMR hell. You are just as good as they are. You make just as many mistakes as they do. It's a harsh thing to say and I want to be all hammering down on you guys. But seriously, just think logically about it. Your MMR are at the same level they are. So the more mistakes you see the opponent makes, the more mistakes you, you can capitalize on. The, obviously, the higher ranks you climb, the less mistakes people make. So it is harder to climb the rank if you go even higher in the ranking system. So I don't want to go too deep into this video and blame people and stuff like that. So I will con definitely continue on with this video, this kind of videos if we get enough support from it. But guys, thank you for the great support. I love you guys so much and I can't wait to see you in the very next video. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.